All right there, ladies and germs. Here we go again. Do a little more testing of the simple screen recorder. It's a good program. It works fantastic. But now we're doing it on a tablet running Windows 10 with a virtual machine running Linux light 3.0 so first thing we'll do is change our darn wallpaper because mountains don't do it for us on the other hand for a second here we're going to switch to the good old f16 and then because we have plenty of time to do this video we're gonna kind of fire up uh, chrome also known as chromium search here as we wait and we're going to find some P51 Mustang HD wall if I type that right we'll get to see some and we're going to say And we're going to just, yeah, pick a, yeah, something we like. Right off the bat. That one looks good. Oh, yeah. And... We're going to view the image. Oh yeah, looks good. And I'm going to save that in our pictures folder. And we're going to call that P51. Mustang 1. back here and we're just gonna go from new school to old school but we're gonna also tell our operating system yeah change background in hmm, 10 minutes every 10 minutes only to get an f16 or a p51 And the whole point of this video was to show you that the simple screen recorder will work just as well. But in the meantime, because I posted up previously about uh, Installing uh, Open Shop. Well, let's see if we can do that. So we're gonna type our password in here that we when you logged in, <coughs> and then we're gonna wait and wait and wait. Hello. This is actually a little quicker on the tablet 
than it is on the laptop overall because we got a quad core. Now we're going to type in open shop, which is a great video editor, totally free, and we're going to search for that. There we go. Mark her installation. And say mark. And I'm going to hit apply. Just that easy to put software into Linux from a repository. Ones and the Aces back up when this happens. Looks like this is all going to get in here. Maybe. We'll wait. We'll wait. There we go. It's configuring crud. As we wait. Okay. So. For anyone who had any doubts running Linux Lite 3 point any other kind of Linux on your tab, you could do it. Odds are you could probably install this straight onto the operating system and use about 64 gig. I'm just using, I think, about 22. On my micro SD card, which is what we're running off of here, because we just don't have that much room on the main drive. Dual boot on a Chewy High Book. Um, just talking because, well, we have to do something to fill up time, just like ESPN. We can just keep going over the same stuff over and over and over. And okay. And we're just about there, folks. And then I'll pop open open shot and show you. Open shot. As I said, this could take a while. Hmm. It's zooming right now. And we're running. Only got 1.9 gig of RAM on here. I believe the Asus that I ran my previous videos on, eh, we were pushing 2.1. 200 meg doesn't sound like much, but when you're doing stuff, well, you're doing stuff. So we're going to switch back over here. Ooh, huh. right. and I want to hit multimedia. Oh boy, there's good old open shot. So, in theory, if your PC 
and your laptop were tied up There it is. Remember, it's the first time it's a virtual machine. If you're running this on, um, you know, your own hard drive with no other operating system laying underneath, it'll work just fine. So you would just files here, your audio there, and export it. I am not going through how to use it. You'll have to learn that on your own. Throw any info on the web, or just point and click and try. Didn't take me long. Alright, I'm closing this up, and this will be the end of this video.